Hey everyone, this is Tappers here again, and welcome back to the Kirby's Dream Land 2 Let's Play. When we last left off, we defeated, or we beat the stage Bubbly Clouds, and now we are heading to the final stage of the game. Level 7, Dark Castle, and probably the best music in this game, bar none. It's definitely one of my favorite, because I mean, listen how menacing this is. It's DDD's Dark Castle in the Sky, it's his moving castle, along with a bunch of bottomless pits and all that. That. Also, in case I never mentioned, Rick almost killed uh, Kine back there because I guess um, Kine is just trying to use Calm Mind to avoid the fact that he's up thousands of miles in the air because it's, it's a long drop and all that, don't you know? Because I mean, you can die in so many places, but yeah. I mean, the the beginning of Dark Castle isn't particularly interesting. I mean, there's a lot of gaps that you need to be aware of and some traps, like this auto-scroller. If, you if you're not careful and paying attention, you can get crushed. Also, somehow I avoided damage there by getting a double uh, inhale, especially considering these wild Ds want to come out of nowhere. And we also have mini-boss refights. We have Ifrit. If you don't remember, he was actually the very first uh, mini-boss that we fought uh, in this game. And he is immediately dead, and we will never see him again. Because we just took his power, and now we've got your power as we just bust through everything and rapid succession. But let, not to worry about that. Now, I would mention something really curious about uh, Dark Castle as a whole, but I'm going to wait until we get halfway through this. But for now, we got a water stage. Not really much of a problem because we can just rush right through it and avoid the icicles that don't give us, or maybe there's the lag tights. It's kind of hard to say because who knows. But this room has just about all the power-ups in here, but as you know, ice is probably one of my favorites in this game because it you can create blocks that can just destroy others, and you gotta destroy them all if you're Kirby. Or, I'm sorry, you gotta right back at you, suck them in. And since we're here, we also have help from our animal buddies, as usual. So, uh, the way this is work gonna work is that I'm gonna have all three of them appear at least once throughout this castle because... I mean, it's just kind of like a farewell to the end, almost, sort of, but not really, because the music in, of Dark Castle is just way too good, as we've got, I think this was, what, Master Green? I don't remember his name already, because it's been a little while since I did recording of this game, but he's still kind of easy, but he's very time-consuming if he doesn't decide to attack. He just keeps using Thunder Jolt, except it's not even Thunder Jolt. But, yeah, we'll just suck in, suck in the star from right behind him when he throws. It, it was a, a tuck rule. That's what it was. But, oh, that's right. There is no such thing as a tuck rule anymore because that's been banned. But it really doesn't matter. I always love Kirby's little animation of him tumbling, injury, whatever you want to call it. Now... Stage, or I mean, Dark Castle Stage 3 kind of is a bit of an annoyance because Spark is probably not the best power-up to have here because of the long charge-up, considering that the Kaboos just blast off again because their plant needs them. Plant Kaboo, don't you know? But... I think one thing that's kind of maybe not the best about Dark Castle is that a lot of the places take place outside and there's maybe not like all that interesting uh I don't know if I want to say set pieces and it's mostly reliant on some I guess traps in a way but I mean the atmosphere is there it's building up to the fact that you're taking on DDD or whatever force is actually at work which spoilers is uh, not DDD because we've got rainbow drops, so that must mean something is up. But we'll eventually get to that point. Also, another one of those cases where 
look before or think before you act, because otherwise that Max Tomato probably would have just destroyed in the bursts of stars if it hit the spikes below. But now we have the return of Mr. Frosty, which is only the second time we're actually fighting him. But fortunately, this one doesn't take 10 years to fight, especially since you get to watch him have his temper tantrum, as you can see right there. He's my favorite mini-boss in the series because his expressions are just great. <laughs> just streams of ice clouds just bursting from the seams and just erupting and all that. It's not fire, but it's that. But now this is kind of where uh, Dark Castle gets a little curious in design. Does this stage look very familiar to you? Well, it should, because it was only about four, five minutes ago that we did stage one, and we're actually going in reverse, except with some slightly difficult placements, like this stupid masher that's just right up in my grill. I don't know why I said grill. And then also this blade that just doesn't want to get out of my way, but... I think what this is supposed to do is Dark Castle is sort of kind of like a symmetrical kind of castle in the sky, so it's probably trying to go for that kind of feel. So that's probably why we're going in reverse. Hence why this uh, area right here where you have to avoid getting crushed and all that, and th you had the same... Uh, spike dead end right there, so we still had to take the top. This is important for a later stage, or, well, spoiler, it's coming up eventually, as we face off against the ninja cutter of relevance that does a lot of jujitsu ninja attack stars of sonic slicing, and he's dead. Only in Fire Emblem Fates do I consider ninjas really cool. No, that's a complete lie. I mean, there's there's other ninjas that are good, like Ninja Gaiden and all that other stuff, but that's pretty much the most notable one that I've... Notable game where there's ninjas and all that. But now we have State... Or, we have 7-5 of Dark Castle, where we're still swimming, but now we're swimming in reverse, where... There's actually more Gordos this time, so it's not quite as fast since you don't have those um, sea and enemy creatures that try to shoot you sometimes, except you don't really know. But um, one other thing to note here is that um, in 7-2, uh, you remember that there was a bunch of 1-ups that I easily got. Well, now they tease you, and they move to the other side. Now, if I entered from the opposite end, it would have appeared back the other way. Now, I don't remember how you're exactly supposed to get them, but it's like, who cares? I honestly don't care, but... We're going to be seeing Koo at least one more time, as we kind of lose the power there because the invincibility frames kind of disappeared. But fortunately, you can mow through Scarfies if you're spinning and all that. Although it doesn't exactly protect from, uh, s from spikes and bottomless pits, of course. But, well, bottomless pits are, well, it's kind of redundant saying that. But, yep, that was blocky. And this is Koo with Stone, and it's not very good. See ya, Koo. We'll see you in Kirby's Dream Land 3, whenever that ends up happening. Now, speaking of Kirby's Dream Land 3, now, I have a little bit of history with that game. It was one of the first uh, few games for the Super Nintendo I actually bought myself that I decided to pick up. I think I picked that over A Link to the Past. I'm not sure why, maybe because... I had never seen the game before, so I have at least some kind of history with it. Um, I would mention more about Kirby Dream Land 3, other than the fact that uh, some of the some of the ways to 100% are kind of crappy and kind of hard to know. Speaking of hard to know, I had to pause because it did save me because I have to go up this way because this is kind of a cruel trick, but at the same time it mirrors. 7-3, uh, where you actually don't get trapped as much. I mean, there's a couple areas, but with the star pieces that 
are there, you can kind of know that, or for the most part, you would know not to go that way in specific. So, I can safely say that in practice I did die because I kind of forgot which way, and, well, the only reason I didn't die there is because I wrote down the directions of which ones to take. Because, yeah, they kind of put you in that false sense of security that, hey, you might actually be going the wrong right way, and then it's like, nope, we just dug deeper and just made you fall for trap. But we have now the sixth mini-boss that we've seen, uh, Captain Stitch, I think it was, and I still find it weird that they kind of imbalance the bosses that you fight, because you fight him, I think, three times, I mean, this is being the third, but for some reason, Mr. Frosty's only fought twice in the game. It's a little odd, but then again, he is sort of a relative staple in the Kirby series since Adventure, so it's probably not too bad. So now, you're probably wondering, why am I leaving Dark Castle? Well, you probably have noticed we haven't even encountered the uh, mystery room or the secret room. But in order to do that, we kind of need a couple things, except that we don't really, but for the first time player, you probably won't know how to do this, and I think I've eventually figured this out after years and years of playing, but what we need is the electric power of Master Green, and we also need Kine in order to uh, get to the room. Of course, you could always just get lucky with with dumb luck, but I can tell you I didn't do that because I eventually probably figured it out or I looked it up somewhere that I don't really remember. But yeah, we need Kind's ability of using a light bulb, or I'm sorry, becoming Thomas Edison of the fish world. Because, I mean, let's be serious, that's what Kind does. Maybe that's kind of why he falls asleep and almost falls off a cliff, like we saw earlier. Also, he had almost no eyes there. But, yeah, this is the last stage of Dark Castle, and, well, kind of the last stage of the game. But it has some really nasty tricks, like that kind of spike pit there. So if, you, if I were to have not jumped in time, I would have lost the power up, and, well, I would just have to start over again. But now, this is where we find out the secret to the secret. These blocks, which I apparently can't destroy, uh, if you destroy them and you light up the room, you'll see some symbols. We have a fire, we have a stone, we have, once we eventually destroy it, which I'm doing a really bad job, fire, stone, uh, needle, ice, and cutter. Yeah, so you remember all that? I hope so, because this is where we take a pop quiz. We need these powers to break open some barriers. If you can't do that, then you won't reach the thing. And either you'll be going to the wrong room, or you'll just uh, have to bypass the whole thing and go to these other rooms. When I first played this, I think I was like 10 or so, because this was 95, I believe it was, and um, I think it took me a year or so, because this was the one I was stumped on the most, because I was just going in random directions, and it's like, nope, I'm still not getting it. I mean, I've probably come close, but I couldn't really say, because there's a number of different combinations, but yeah. So with one more power, I believe is Cutter, once again, because, well, we did Cutter last time in Bubbly Clouds, so we, guess we have to do it again. We have the final rainbow drop of the game, and with that, all we need to do is just beat the game and get some more one-ups, and yeah. Now, depending on how many barriers you couldn't break, you would be seeing a lot more rooms, like with mummy balls um, and other things I can't remember. Also, that was a kind of a jerk move there, just having a jump shooter just spawn dropping right on top of you, but that's kind of what I think of him. But yeah, that is the last stage of, or proper stage of the game, and what a better way to finish off the last stage than to get a 1-up. So, next time, we'll be 
finishing up the game with King Dedede. This has been Tapras, and I will see you again for the finale.